Hey, was 12, my birthday. Killed the workout for my birthday. Sorry, there's the cross going on in the background. 12 times 100. First six were good, last six were rough. Finished each one in under, I probably averaged like 13.8, which I mean, I'm just in flats. So it wasn't like horrible. Subpar weather conditions. It is currently 45 degrees. It's a wee bit chilly. And it was hailing at one point, but now it's just raining. But first workout in the books. We're back, baby. Tomorrow I think we're just gonna throw jabs, so a little bit easier day. So it cooled down, I'm back in the car, and the lighting was too good in here. I couldn't couldn't resist this this chance to talk to you guys. So I'm not gonna say that the vlog is back, but I do want to start training again. And when I start training again, I'm actually going to have content for you guys to talk about every day. And it's nice to be able to, one, record myself so that I can see what I'm doing. And two, be able to kind of vent to you guys, get some pointers and stuff. Obviously right now I'm not doing a decathlon, so me getting all my spikes out of the closet yesterday was, or two days ago, was more just for the show of the video showing that I wanted to get back out there and I wanted to start training and I do plan on competing obviously so if you guys remember that video from a long not a long time ago but like a couple months ago where I said what's my future in track and field and I said that it was coaching I do honestly believe that it isn't coaching I think that that's something I'm really passionate about and I think that it's something that I'm good at I'm really good at coaching I believe so I think that that is my future but my immediate future is definitely competing. Um, being out there and coaching those kids, being out there and watching them compete, being out there and practicing with them sometimes. Um, sorry, that was the steering wheel. Undoubtedly, I have more competitive drive than I remember having. And I don't know if it was just taking a break from track and field or what, but I look back through my old videos, my old vlogs, I look back through my old photos, all the photos on because I basically just Google myself and find a video or a picture for those thumbnails. So when I go back and I Google and I see all those memories, I see my throws from Pac 12s, I see me running the 100 against Garrett Scantling and Austin Bonner, my buddy, and all that stuff. It's really like it like just sparks that want for me to go compete and want for me to be part of that brotherhood still. And I'm definitely going to be. So um, I wanted to take this second and I guess today is my birthday, so we'll reflect on that a little bit. I'm gonna go get some free Dutch Bros, but. Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it, thank you. Free birthday drinks. Shouts out Dutch Bros. You guys are the bomb. But I was thinking to myself, today is my birthday, and rightfully so, I go work my butt off in the rain <clears throat> because I know that. 23 years ago when I was born, I didn't imagine this because I didn't really probably imagine anything. Actually, I imagined probably. Anyways, when I was younger, I never probably imagined that I'd be in the situation that I am now to be able to do what I'm doing and just to be able to go out and run like that or be able to go out and have a facility where I can go run or have support behind me. Sorry, I'm wiping sweat out of my eyes and water and have the support that I have behind me to go kind of pursue any career that I want, do what I want to do, and find out what I really am passionate about. Um, I'm a pretty pretty lucky kid at 23 years old to be able to say that I can do that. So, um, shouts out to my family, shouts out to all my subscribers. I did want to make a video and I said that I was going to do this a while ago, but you guys are awesome. Um, I'm going to go home now and I'm going to look at those of you that have gotten pictures of me in the past that I haven't posted already. And one person in particular sent me a really, really thoughtful and heartfelt message and I'd like to share that with you guys too. So um, I guess we're going to do a quick little transition to hopefully me being less sweaty, me being less gross. Lighting's probably not going to be as good, but we'll deal with it. So I'll talk to you guys back in the house where I'm nice and clean. Okay, so we're back home. I haven't changed yet. So I'm going to go shower because we're going to go to dinner later. Best place in Eugene to eat, hands down. It's called Mame. It's like a sushi restaurant and it is phenomenal by the way this is the 
body that I'm working with right now is not the best. I'm starting to really like those transitions. It's so easy just to throw something on top of something. Um, next scene will probably be me at Mame. I'm probably not going to film a ton there because I actually want to eat and enjoy the food. Enjoy the little bit of an atmosphere that it is because we know the chef and it's kind of a cool little it's a cool little sushi place. If you're in Eugene, go check it out and you'll get the experience rather than me having to show you the experience through a camera. I wanted to end this video by saying thank you to those of you that have either gotten a photo with me or supported me in some way, saying that you enjoyed the channel and that it's inspired you in some way. I, I, all that stuff is awesome. I really, really enjoy hearing everything and I really do read all the comments even if I don't like reply to them. I, I read everything. I read all the messages you guys send me on Instagram, all my comments, all that stuff. So I really, really appreciate everything that you guys do for me. Um, so this is a couple of the photos that I've gotten very recently. So if I haven't posted your photo, please just either resend it to me or do something and I'll definitely get it in either the next video or the video after that or no promises, you guys know me. But there was one person in particular that kind of shared the same story as me and reached out to me at a time when I really needed to hear something like that. And it was um, Patty Turner, Patty Turner 41, reached out to me and kind of told me their story and said, this is how that I had inspired them to get back into track and field. And then once they got back into track and field, they worked their butt off just because they saw me working my butt off. And they actually ended up succeeding and doing what they had planned and achieving their goals. And it was just reading that message and all the nice comments from you guys and all that stuff. That's what kind of motivated me to get back into this thing. And I recently, like I just finished doing my calendar. I'm pointing at my laptop down here. Sorry. Because I'm recently going to be getting back into this stuff and trying to record more and trying to tell you guys more about it because stories like that is why I wanted to start this YouTube channel. I wanted to try and convince people to get out there and do what they wanted to do because pursuing your dreams thing I think is pretty neat and to have someone tell me that they were pursuing their dreams and they kind of lost it and then for some reason watching this stuff inspired them to continue in their dreams really motivated me to keep pursuing mine. That's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just me kind of talking and thanking you guys. It really is just a thank you video because it was my birthday the other day. I was super motivated. You guys motivated me. You guys got me to get back into this stuff. Whether it is vlogging, whether it is um, running, whether you're one hell of a knitter and you knit sweaters for your community or your family or whatever, do whatever makes you happy. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Again, it was just a thank you. Please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Not necessarily this one because this one's kind of boring, but more videos of me training. I have a whole packet. Check this out. This is 52 weeks of workouts. 52 weeks. That's almost a year of workouts. Have a wonderful day. Be nice to people. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt others. Slow down. Don't dance so fast. And I will talk to you guys all hopefully very shortly, if not tomorrow. Okay? Love you all. Thank you so much. Goodbye.